deleted. If I want to change the logging, uh, you've got a file name to send it to, date to tend to, which obviously today's date uh, and the time. Uh, then some text if you wanted to give some information in there. So you can start immediately with the start button is what triggers it or at a specific time or an alarm. So you can uh, set up these alarms uh, from picking up a value on a channel if you wanted to. And that would trigger the recording to start a uh, specific time. It's obvious and all with the actual start button which is a green button on there or a little arrow button down here um, so the scan interval um, we can custom that I think we had this set for 30 seconds can I type in yes I can um, and then stop data login you've got options of stopping immediately after a certain amount of time or after a certain number of scans which I had was 10 uh, and that's it all then set up um, what you can do once you fit happy with all your setup is to monitor stuff create a little chart which we will set these up just for the temperatures You can change the, the actual scaling uh, to bring stuff back into scope, which we'll probably do when we start the scan. So once you've set up your graphic setup for what you want to look at, you can hit the go button and it starts to uh, scan away. You can monitor a channel up here as well to monitor this. So you can change it and monitor whatever channel you want on here. So you can change the scales here and now you can start to see and it will just go through uh, recording the scans until it's complete or until I uh, tell it to stop. I can still can stop it manually if I want to. Uh, and that's the basic setup with the software. So once the data collection has completed, you're left with your strip chart here that shows you all the trend plots. I shrink him out of the way and get a fuller screen. You can actually hover over each channel and it'll identify it for you and like you see up here we've got a couple of excursions on frequency out went up to 100 hertz on a couple of occasions which is surprising that's not something that i picked up when it was on the oscilloscope so that's something there that i'll need to have a look at um, with regard to the analysis that you can do on here you can set up your time channel along here uh, i've got it set to the smallest 50 seconds I think that change is dependent upon your sampling interval. So if you have a smaller sampling interval, you'll be able to uh, shrink this down a bit. Uh, I'm limited to this because of the 30 seconds. So over on this side, you have a gadget properties, which each of these are your gadgets. Uh, and you can change some of the settings over here. So uh, for this strip chart, one of the main ones you can do, obviously I've got everything on the left hand side at this moment in time. And because of that, because of the different parameters, temperature and current uh, voltage uh, and your frequency, um, you've lost any form of units on here. So what you can do is on the right, is enable the right hand axis. I can turn him to temperature. And the first thing that does is it switches off all your temperature channels. So you now have to stick them back in and they will come over on the right hand side this time okay so once you've set up the right hand y-axis of set it to temperature you can put the divisions in here you can put an offset in as well and bring them down um, and then you have the degree 20 degrees c per division over this side and then you can obviously move these about get better control over them than if everything's all over on this left hand side so what else you can do in the strip chart, you can actually put some annotations in and put in there. And it leaves with a little flag here to say that you've uh, 
if you hover over it, it gives you your notes you've typed in. Uh, you can also put markers in. Um, oops. And you can move these about just by dragging them. And you will get your channel. So, VN. Oh, let's do the out. So the function here just extracts marker one from marker two, gives you a value. Obviously, as you move these about, uh, it will change accordingly. And that's pretty much all the analysis you can do within this little strip chart. Um, and your other options for analysis are an XY plot. And this defaults to um, your first two channels. Um, if you hit the square button there with all the arrows, it brings everything zoom in. And your channel selection is over again on your gadget properties, which you can select the X channel. Um, probably not a good one. And the Y channel. And make a total mess out of things. Um, so you want to you can get back to strip chart from there. And you can also have a histogram. And again, this is just a single channel selection. So uh, histogram, let's go all the way down the bottom. So your amp gain. So I can tell the amp gain floated between 1.775 and 1.982. Majority of them 1.982. So that's another little bit of analysis you can do as well. You can always add text in as well as a panel if you wanted to give something an extra highlight, but that seems to float on its own. So I'm not sure what the intention of that was really. Um, at any point in time, you can export those screenshots uh, either to an image file or to the Windows clipboard. So you can save him. Uh, all the options you got PNG, JPEG, or Bitmap, give him a name, so that uh, puts him out there for you, and then that's him there. And go back to plots. And that's pretty much all your analysis that you can do, really. Uh, it's relatively basic on this uh, within this program.